Lexi! Channel 7 launched its new, highly prestigious program, The X Factor, last night. I'm starting to think, Marcus, that this program has had a few problems getting off the ground. Is it cursed? Well, it seems to have something like that going on. Right when they announced the program a few months ago, they said they had Ronan Keating, an international star, uh, going to be one of the judges. Within a short time, it was announced that uh, Ronan had been um, having an affair with one of his backup dancers and that he'd split with his wife, Yvonne. Not long after that, the marriage between Carl Sanderlands and Tamara Jaber was shown to have um, been, been a bit of a sham in that it had ended months ago and they hadn't announced it. Then, of course, Matt Newton uh, fell off the wagon. And now, just 24 hours before the show's to debut, Yvonne has come out and said that she's definitely not reconciling. She said it's definitely over. So, having survived Rosemount's big week of fashion last week, we're now getting primed for next week's event, which is Vogue magazine's Fashion's Night Out event. Amy, tell us a bit about that. Vogue magazine is, is throwing a big party on Thursday night in the CBD, which is essentially an exercise in selling a lot of clothes. So I had a chat with Vogue editor Kirsty Clements about it, and she gave us a bit more detail. Well, Vogue's Fashion Night Out started last year by Anna Wintour um, in the US. It's actually just to kind of put the fun um, back into shopping. Uh, stimulate retail and then have a party at the end. We've got a big car boot sale, so there'll be um, cars that are parked around the city, Jaguars um, parked around the city, and in the back will be sample sale items, and then that finishes at nine o'clock and we're all heading to the Ivy for the after party. So Ben Hur, the Arena Spectacular, is coming later in the year. We cast about to see which of the uh, Sidcon members was the fittest and sent Sidcon editor Simon Wheeler down for the auditions. Let's have a look at how he fared in the arena. I've been trying out for one of 15 roles in the Ben-Hur Spectacular. Believe it or not, this old bloke was in the original Ben-Hur movie back in 1959. Now, more than 50 years later, he's going to be in the live Spectacular. Who did you play in that movie? I buy a Roman soldier. A Roman soldier. A Roman soldier. And you've been given a special part in this Sydney production. What will you play in that? Will you play now? Yeah. As a senator. Ah, you've been promoted. Congratulations. <laughs> As a now for a bit of gladiatorial combat. <laughs> this pro wrestler is a member of the cast. He's kindly offered to give me some one-on-one -on -one training. Now, I can definitely say I've gone beyond the call of duty. How'd I go? Well, look, there's a saying in the, in the entertainment business, uh, and it's, um, don't call us, we'll call you. Congratulations, Sally. You're through the first cut of auditions. All the best with the rest of the auditions. Thank you so much, Simon. Fingers, toes, legs, everything crossed. So I may not have made the cut, but at least I won a medal for Valor in the heats of battle and for not crying when getting bitch slapped by one of those wrestlers. Simon, thank you for joining us. I thought you nearly had that bloke on Saturday. Yeah, we only went one short round, but I reckon if we'd gone to two, I, I might have taken him. He was definitely tiring. So what else have you got in store for us with Ben-Hur? Well, we're hoping to head up to Queensland to see the horses that are being trained for the actual chariot races. Maybe I'll get a free chariot ride out of it. We'll see. Sounds good. Keep us posted. Yeah.